how has the school year started for your family so far? We're, we're praying for you at uh, Central Kids Ministry. And um, I actually have a parenting tip talk for you today when I want to start with this story that I had about my oldest. And you know, our oldest children are guinea pigs and we, we learned from them. So there was one year where she had um, what I what I grew to realize was a very bad learning environment at, in her classroom in public school. Um, after a few months, the teacher ended up being let go because uh, the way she was handling the class wasn't fair. Then there was just parents who were upset. You know, every day when she my daughter would come home, she'd tell me these stories about this dramatic thing that had happened in class that day. And so it set the tone and the rest of the school year in a lot of ways, it felt like was a wash because a lot of the kids just got in the habit of not listening. Um, anyway, it was just very, it was hard for me as a mom wanting to help control my child's education. So I, I was very worried that she really just hadn't learned a lot that year. But the next year I realized that um, she was, you know, it got turned around. She got into some great te with some great teachers and some great classes, and it seemed like she caught up in everything that she may have missed. And she went on to do very extremely well academically. And I look back and I think that one year that we had, what you know, in the grand scheme of things, did it really make that much difference? In some ways, she may have learned some valuable lessons. I don't even want to guess what those lessons might be. But it was interesting for me to see that there are ups and downs in life. And a lot of the times there's things that as a parent that we can't necessarily control. Or maybe there's even things going on that we don't even realize are going on at the time. But um, I just I love the promises that God gives us. That he works all things together for good. And uh, I like the Bible verse that we're learning this month, which is James 1, 5. It says, if any of you lacks wisdom, wisdom, let him ask God, who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and it will be given to him. And, um, you know, I think each one of us have our own different situations with our own families. And sometimes it's really easy to second guess what we've chosen for our family, for example, for school year our school year this year and we look at the neighbors we say oh well maybe I should have done that but I want you to just hang tight and realize that uh, God is in control no matter what happens this year in this election with the quarantine whatever it is that we have a God who is a rock that we can cling to you know pour it over to him if there's some a change you need to make I think he'll make that clear to you but uh, to rest in wisdom that he gives us. So I want to show you a picture real quick. So I don't have a real good example of a tapestry, but this is like a stitching. And this is the back side. As you can see, there's just a lot of flaws. This is the side that we see in life but we don't realize what God is making out of it until we can reflect and look back on it and we see what he's intended. And I think that's just a great example. It gives us hope to realize that we don't see the full picture, but God does. So let me pray for us, all of us mamas, as we get into this school year, Lord, we just come before you and, and we thank you for what you have in store for us this year and in the future, Lord. We know that it's good things that you have in store for us. Help us, Lord, to lean into you. Help us not to have our eyes focused around us as to what everyone else is doing, but that we would look and have confidence and assurance of what it is that you've called us to, Lord. I pray that you would fill us with your Holy Spirit, Lord, as we just think of the fruits of the Spirit. Just pray that we would be um, able to show these each day to our families, to our teachers, to all of uh, the people we come in contact with. Lord, we pray for love, joy, peace, patience, 
kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Lord, we just pray that you would use the school year to help us grow as parents. Lord, that we would embrace your will, even when it's chaotic. Lord, that we would rest in your will and be blessed, be fully blessed in your will. We pray these things in Jesus' name, amen.